six percentage point hike in corporation tax, which is bigger than many people were expecting. And many say, including the Financial Times, by the way, risks making Britain a less attractive place to invest. Chancellor. Well, even after the increase in corporation tax, which, remember, is not going to happen for a couple of years from now, so after um, we've got through this and started recovering, uh, we will still have a lower corporation tax rate ah. than all of our large G7 you, economy you, you've competitive had countries. the Financial Times, I'm sure, haven't you, this morning, uh, Chancellor? Well, I, I, I've been, yes. I've been so now busy let, doing So let, let's be but, candid with each other, and they know far better than I, not you, but they point out that then once you factor in deductions and allowances, corporate profits are taxed more heavily than in any well, other advanced economy. Chancellor, no, why I would any businessman or woman invest here? Uh, well, I, I, well, actually, I haven't, I haven't seen their numbers, but the, the, the actual the OECD numbers that compare countries uh, on a comparable basis show that we would have the lowest effective corporation tax rate out of the, the G7, the fifth lowest in the G20, and with the super deduction, we shoot from up from 30th to 1st over the next two years in terms of this being an attractive place to yeah. invest. So, uh, you know, I feel very confident that this will continue to be an internationally competitive country with, with, with initiatives like free ports, for example, at our investment in R&D and innovation. Uh, we, we are a fantastic economy. You're Let seeing that today. What a vote of confidence um, from Deliveroo. That's a great British success story in fintech. We reformed high-skill migration visas yesterday to make sure we support our growing life sciences and technology companies. You know, when I, I'm here up in Teesside, there's, there's lots of companies that are excited about the prospects for growth here. And I think, hopefully, over the coming weeks and months, we will hear announcements about that, um, we whether it's in offshore wind or carbon capture and storage new industries, new jobs being created because of the policies that we are putting in place.